All right, hello everyone. How's it going today? So this is the uh, 2nd of February and I will be talking about the Euro USD as it's trending downwards right now. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is Kei and I am a Japanese full-time Forex trader in Tokyo, Japan. So this is a recorded video session. This is not the live stream. It's a recorded video because every Tuesday, Wednesday, I talk about um, Ichimoku on Tuesday, today, and also tomorrow. I will talk about my own strategy called KTS, K's trading strategy tomorrow on Wednesday. But these are the videos. So I hope you enjoy the video today and tomorrow. So this video is recorded at the moment right now at uh, 10 36 a.m. in UTC time zone. And let me show you the Euro USD and you'll see what's happening right now. So before starting here real quick, this is the information is uh, basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk. So here is the Euro USD and this is a daily chart. And today especially is about the Ichimoku basic lecture every Tuesdays. So I will focus on the Ichimoku five lines and also time cycles. So this is a daily chart of Euro USD and it's been down trending um, since yesterday, Monday, and this is Tuesday forming candlestick and this is now going down. And yellow lines are called forecast lines. The forecast lines are actually one of the Ichimoku strategies. So you put the you take this uh, swing high and you you draw one of the lines to single span A and one of the lines to single span B at that time. And these are called forecast lines so that you can see how the market has been retracing and if the retracement, uh, retracement is stable or not. So right now I see the market is below these forecast lines and the market is currently uh, below this single span A and in between the Kumo here. So this is bearish to me. And also we had this uh, Tenkan Kijun dead cross and Chikou span breakout happening. So if the market goes down this way continuously, then it's gonna break the Kumo downwards and we can expect the market continue to go down this way. So this is a long-term scenario. But because this is still in the Kumo here, the market might go up here. So technically, we're not still sure uh, whether the market goes up and down in this daily chart. So you have to switch it to the 4-hour chart or 1-hour chart to capture the downtrend. So let's do this. In 4-hour chart, Let's see, what we can see here, here is that the uh, we see the Kumo trending down. So here's a Kumo Senko Span, B down, A down, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both downwards, and Chikou Span below the candles. So this is a nice timing to look for the sell chance. I mean, this is a great sell chance right now because we can expect the market goes down on this bearish in the wave. So now it's still forming downtrend in this flower chart. So I will be expecting the market goes down this way. So if you sell right now, then the stop loss will be slightly above the previous high, which I all usually place. So if you place the sell over here, then uh, the stop loss will be previous high over here. And um, previous high meaning at the 1.2091 level will be the stop loss. And I expect the market goes down this way. And in terms of target, I look at the daily chart and initial target will be at the Kumo here, at this uh, Senko Span B. So when you see uptrend, up Kumo here, the Senko Span B is the lower part and the Senko Span A is the upper part. So if the market goes down continuously, then this Senko Span B area is the potential target. So if the market goes down all the way to this level, that will be one point. 1956 will be a target initially. And if it breaks downwards, then I keep trading the profit to downtrending. But um, simply because right now in four, this is downtrending. So I think this is a good one to look for sell chance. I will look for continue to look for sell chance before I go to bed tonight. So that's the good one to watch. So every time you see market, um, you have to be simple. The analysis should be simple by Ichimoku Five Lines. So once again, in the daily chart, uh, we see downtrend. 
because we see the, um, this uh, Tenkan Kijun dead cross and Chikospan break. So the remaining signal for the continuous downtrend should be the Kumo breakout. But it's not happening in the daily chart. The market is still in the middle of the Kumo here. So the market might go up first. So in that sense, we cannot trust this daily chart because in the daily chart, the market is exactly in the Kumo and looks like there is no trend. But we know that the uh, the market is actually uh, been, has been resisted by this forecast lines and it's going down this way continuously. So uh, that's uh, one of the findings. And also in terms of the Kumo and Kijun Sen, the Kumo is flat still. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen points downwards and Tenkan Sen also points downwards. However, because this Kijun Sen is still above the Kumo, so this downtrend might not gonna be sort of trustable. Um, so we have to wait for the Kumo twist bearish on the daily chart and continue to look for sell chance. And when the Kumo twist bearish is most likely when there is a Kumo breakout. So in the daily chart, if you want to take trade on a daily chart basis, then Kumo breakout would be the great chance to sell. Otherwise, you have to keep waiting for the, for the sell chance because the price is in the Kumo now here. And briefly touching on these time cycles right now, um, I've so these are the time cycles on these uh, red vertical lines. So in between the all-time high on this uh, 6th January until this over here, 18th January, there were nine bars in between. And nine is one of the Kihon Suchi numbers. So on this I wave, it was nine bar. And the market went upwards, one, two, three, four, five candles upwards, and now it's going down this way. So how far the market can continue to go down will be captured also by the time cycle. So if you take this uh, previous high, on this 22nd January on daily chart and if you have the 9 bars that will be uh, tomorrow. The 3rd of February tomorrow might become the, the end of the downtrend in this time cycle. So that's one of the targets. And also um, the market might continue to go down for the next 17 bars to the future. So if the market continue to go down on the 17 bars to the future from the previous high, then that will be up until 15th of February will be the next target. Or it might go down continuously for the next 26 candles to the future. And 26 candles to the future will be 26th of February. So 9 bars or 17 bars or 26 bars will be the time cycle target and price action wise, this is bearish new wave. So um, after nine bars, if the market goes downwards continuously all the way, then uh, it might be reaching to the Senko Span B, or it might break the Senko Span B downwards and continue to go down this way, will be expect expected here. So that's the daily chart analysis by time cycle. And with that in mind, I look at the four hour chart. I look at the forward chart and I look at the price action and the five lines too. Um, you don't want to take the time cycles and also forecast lines in four because these are for daily chart above, but you can still look at these five lines of Ichimoku and price action. So once again, in this Kumo pointing downwards and Tenkan Kijun both are pointing downwards and Chikospan below the candles, this is a stable downtrend. And especially we have this reverse end wave forming. Reverse end wave broke the previous low. So this is a continuous downtrend. I was all actually expecting that the, uh, the market will be supported over here. It's going to be supported at this level of uh, 1.205 area and goes up this way. But now it's broken downwards. So and th because this is in flower chart, we have to wait for the candle close. Now it's breaking downwards, but we still have uh, 3 hours and 14 minutes for this candlestick to close. So at the candle close, it might become above the support line. 
So now the close price is still below this previous low, but um, if the market goes up afterwards, and if this candle close will become like a like a pin bar, like a weak pointing downwards and pin bar, then the market might reverse backwards from here too. So we have to be careful for this uh, candle close in this case. That's what I always wait for. So make sure you have this decent uh, breakout by confirming the candle close and then after next candlestick that will be you can look for the sell chance then. And briefly looking at this one hour chart also, in one, yeah, this is spiking down. It broke the previous low downwards and now it's going down. We see Kumo down, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span also downwards. So in this one hour chart, Euro USD, this is downtrending. And this candle close in one hour chart is going to be uh, is gonna be happening in 13 minutes. So after the candle close in 30 minutes, 13 minutes, sorry, and if the close price will become pr the previous low, then in one hour chart, there's a chance the market goes down this way, bearish. So that will also become a great entry chance. So it's uh, either you wanna wait for the forward chart kind of close or one hour chart candle close to look for the sell chance. What I usually do is I look for, I wait for the one hour chart candle close in this case because for hour chart it takes another uh, three hours, 12 minutes. So um, we have, we still have like three, more than three hours. So within three hours, there will be one hour, one hour chart candlestick forms uh, three times. So um, the market still might go down this way in one hour chart. It might form one, two, three candles, and then after the fourth candle, it might go upward this way. But now I can see bearishness in four hour chart and also one hour chart. So yeah, after this one hour chart candle close becomes below the previous low, then I will continue to look for the sell chance in lower time frames. So that's my Euro USD analysis for today. So hopefully you enjoyed my analysis based on this uh, daily chart in four hour chart and one hour chart by Ichimoku fiber lines and the time cycles and also the forecast lines. So um, you cannot really take one strategy, one indication to take a trade. I recommend you to combine these information based on the price action also, and also forecast lines in Kumo, and Tenkan Kijun Sen Chikou Span to get the confirmations to take a trade towards the direction so that uh, you can become a non-losing trader afterwards. So make sure every time you take trades, make sure you put the stop loss is also important. I didn't place a stop loss when I was a newbie and I lost my count once and another one I had 50% drawdown so that was a painful lesson so ever since I make sure to place a stop loss and move it to break even so every time you take trace please place a stop loss because it's like a sailboat in the highway so that um, even though there is a big accident happening in the market which is unexpected um, you still risk 2% per trade Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day in different topics. So from this February, um, I decided not to fix the topic on these videos and lives because I want to check some uh, market before I shoot this uh, video or live and I, I want to decide what to talk about so I hope you enjoy this new style of my analysis and trades when I take trades I will share my position and also uh, I will share my view for uh, for the uh, for the direction and expectation target and stop losses and so on so 
yeah, so that I can be more flexible to these markets every day in terms of sharing my views and thoughts about the markets. So, yeah, I hope you catch some trends this week and、uh, I will see you on tomorrow's video on Wednesday. So, thank you for watching until the end. Please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright, bye for now. Mata ne!